We don't have long, but we may be able to help. How? I'll tell you on the way. We've evacuated all the citizens. I hope you set up those things right, McCain! Me too. There's no way we'll get to a safe distance now, and I don't do well in the heat. I do. Honey, that rocket's flame is gonna be burning at 3,000 degrees! That is hot! I better take off my jacket. How long do we have, Professor? Uh, about minus three seconds! to their computers, I saw that Natalia was on board. What? That was good work, Chase. He is talking to me, right? You've saved a lot of lives today, and uh, I'm a big enough man to admit when I've made a mistake or two, which is still a lot less than you've made. Thanks, Chief. Mayor Gleason, I need a favor. For the man who just stopped Lego City being destroyed? Name it. I still have some people I need to arrest. I'll call Apollo Island right away. I think they've got a shuttle they can lend you. Oh, oh, shotgun! Chase, I have to warn you that takeoff is extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, I think I can handle it, Professor. I've seen the movies. And launching in 10, 9, we do that in case the astronauts change their mind. Oh. Hey, what do you know? In space, you can hear them scream. Well done! You are in outer space! Now, to get to the moon will take almost 10 seconds. Oh, okay, you are about the moon now. What? Uh, yeah, it's really close and very small. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Now, it's time for your spacewalk. You need to prepare very carefully. I want you to check and recheck your suit before you exit the command module. <laughs> sure thing, Professor. <laughs> to that society of blinkered fools. I tried building something truly wonderful for them. A self-contained world which they'd never have to leave. An utopian habitat that catered to their every whim and desire. It was a monument to my genius. You were a great man once, Blackwell. But you've gone crazy. Crazy? Your monument was nothing more than an apartment block with a shopping mall! Turn us around! Sorry! <laughs> We're locked in! Bring her over here! Chase! That's pretty low of you, Blackwell. Threatening a lady. Oh, no, no, no! I would never hurt a lady. I just want her to watch you get squashed! Hey there, McCain! Thanks so much for getting me this from the museum. <laughs> wow, that has literally come back to bite me. Whoa, that was close. Be careful. We'll need those energy tanks to run my moon base. No, you do, do ya? Rex, you're fired. And Chase, you're fried. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was an almost drive. Chase, he's... Huh? Command module separation complete. Oh, what? Blackwell, that filthy worm. Self-destructive in now. This isn't the last you've seen of me. I will have my revenge! Huh? Ah! Phew. It's no good, Dad. We can't reach the parachute release! Excuse me. Did anyone order a hero? Chase! Pull that lever! This lever? Okay. What is it? The brakes! Uh-oh. <laughs> Professor Kowalski's on his way. He said the command module will touch down any minute now. And what about the tons of falling debris from the rocket? Don't worry, Chief. I've got you covered. The debris splashed down at sea, Marion. Mind if I park here? Oh, oh, there they are! Congratulations. You've done it again, Chase. Almost. Blackwell got away in an escape pod, and Rex, well, he got away too, I bet. Rex! <laughs> Rex isn't a problem. Oh? He crashed headfirst through someone's roof ten minutes ago. Get this off of me! <laughs> hey, Rex, you don't look very flushed with success. I, uh... Yeah, uh, I thought you should get the arrest this time. You know what? You can have it, Chief. Some things are more important than work. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about video games, right? <laughs> Out! 